The president was hospitalized on September 3rd due to chest pains and shortness of breath. Doctors discovered that President Clinton had sustained heart damage from carrying around a copy of his book, My Life. The 1,008-page book, doctors say, was just too heavy to be carrying around. No way. There's no way that book. It, it's true. Oh! <laughs> no, no. A book cannot cause heart damage. It does, and it will. No. I bet you 20 bucks. $20. $20 right now that it doesn't. How okay. exactly do you expect to prove this, Jory? I'll carry around that book for the rest of the episode. How about that? Go! Hit me! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best! <laughs> Fair tell! Fair tell! In an interesting side note, My Life by Bill Clinton ranks number 5 on Righteous TV's list of top 10 books with the most unoriginal names, just behind a book by Jory Karen. What's wrong with that title? It's just a little uninventive and boring, that's all, you know. Yeah, but no one else out there has that title. Well, I suppose, Jory, but I think that probably happens for a reason. You know, these authors work pretty hard for creative titles that sort of... Right arm tingling. Shortness of breath. Anyway, your resume looks really good. We'd love to have you aboard. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, you have to sign right there. Uh, wh what is this? It's just a form saying that you won't take any legal action against angry films if for some reason something should fall on your head during shooting or if one day you get trapped in a small coffin or you know, anything like that. It's standard business procedure. We need to make sure that we're covered. Oh, I get it. This is some of that righteous TV humor you guys are always doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Actually, sign it right now. Yeah, just put your signature at the bottom and an initial up here. Okay. And then on the next page, you'll okay, find... Okay, insurance information? You need to put your social security number over here in the top corner. And physician. And you need to put your bank account number here in the bottom corner. And next of kin. We just need to know who to notify. In case. If something should, you yeah. know, yeah. Okay. Well, former Senator Joe McCarthy was probably getting a lot of high fives in hell last week after Youssef Islam, formerly known as Cat Stevens, was deemed a threat to national security and sent away from the United States. The pop singer, known for hits such as Morning Has Broken, had his London to Washington flight diverted to Bangor, Maine after his name came up on several terrorist watch lists. He was promptly sent away. Good. What? Well, I'm relieved, aren't you? No, I'm not relieved, Jory. I don't think Cat Stevens was a threat to national security. You don't? No. All right. Okay. Welcome to Righteous TV. Your first assignment will be to get us some coffee. Coffee? Um, I thought it was going to be like a correspondent like out in the field or something, you know. Thanks, Zach. The hurricane season first storm was Francis hitting um, Florida. David, I'm going to have to interrupt you for a second. What are you wearing? Uh, a uh, raincoat. You're indoors. What? Isn't that what hurricane guys wear? I watched all the tapes you guys gave me. Well... See, you will eventually. It's just everyone starts out from the bottom and then works their way up. Even though you're actually our first employee, the whole ladder climbing scenario, it's just the way that we see it working out eventually. Eventually. So how about that coffee, Slave? I mean, Robert. Uh, my Robert. name's Ryan. It will be again, eventually. Yeah. It's just everyone starts out at Robert. And then works their way up. Even though you're actually our first employee, the whole name change ladder climbing scenario, it's just the way that we see it working out eventually. Hey, wait, is, is he making a peak hour call? With my phone? <gasps> Jory, Cat Stevens is not a terrorist. He wrote Peace Train. Zach, don't let the cute titles fool you, okay? Peace Train. Where do you think that train was going? Probably right into a building. I don't care what Mark Twain says. Benjamin Franklin was the man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's on the 20. Wait, no, he's he's on the 100. He is? Yeah. Who's on the 20? I actually don't know. Cat Stevens is not a terrorist. He's a peace activist and a humanitarian. Right, right. And Look at this, okay? This is a picture of Osama bin Laden. Now, here's the most recent picture of Cat Stevens. Wait, for that matter, who's on the 10? 
Oh no. I. Wow. Anyway, after. Ah! Ah! I remember why I hate this game. I'm so bad at it. Your turn. The place isn't much farther, you guys. Oh. What? You know what? This is a horrible idea. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Ryan, why don't you just get rid of that? Got it. Uh, come on, it's as long as you can make a static noise for. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Dude, that, that was hardly- Whatever, any... just stop it. Fine, whatever. Whatever.